combined experience. Their goal is to create, design, and manufacture top quality inflatables at affordable prices. All Star Inflatables is proud to manufacture 100% in Texas, 100% made in the USA. All Star Inflatables is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Typha organizations, let them know you're with Typha and get 10% off. See their ad at typha.com and check them out at www.allstarinflatables.com. That's all starinflatables.com. Or call their sales department at 888 349 4386 or email them at sales at inflatables.com all star inflatables if you can imagine it they can inflate it gtm sportswear gtm sportswear look like a team train like a team gtm sportswear can outfit your entire team with custom jerseys uniforms with amazing new sublimations to choose from warm-ups and much much more get your team practice wear with up to 20 percent off they even have great fan apparel for that team spirit look gtm sportswear is a proud sponsor of the texas youth football and cheer association need uniforms for your cheerleaders they got those too Get some of the best prices on all apparel with their amazing partnership with Typha. Just go to gtmsportswear.com and get outfitted for the season. Once again, that's gtmsportswear.com. Or call Melanie Miller at 785-249-5343 for more information. GTM Sportswear. Love what you do, wear what you love. It's the annual Typha State Cheer Competition, November 4th at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. Cheer teams from all over Typha will converge and compete for the Battle at the Beach. Don't miss what has become one of the largest and most exciting cheer competitions in the state of Texas. Go to www.typha.com for more information. Also, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Typha Cheer. Who will be crowned grand champion in Typha? Come see and find out November 4th. It's the Battle at the Beach. It's the annual Typha State Cheer Competition at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi. Come get your cheer on. It's a cheer thing. You're listening to Typha Radio, part of the Typha Sports Network. Welcome back. T.L. Whittington, if you guys host playoffs, at any, uh, whether it be first round, second round, quarterfinals, semifinals, let me know. Let's see if we can get up and see those Louisville Hawks. Type of state cheer competition this Saturday down in Corpus Christi. It's the Battle at the Beach. It is going to be a action-packed weekend. We're going to be live here on Typha Radio. Linda Lundy is going to join me once again here on Typha Radio. We're going to have all, try to describe to you anything and everything that's going on during the cheer competition to kind of give you a visual of what's happening. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about, are you going to Facebook Live it the whole time? Absolutely not. Uh, there's no way I can do that. Uh, there's no platform. I, I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the um, airtime to do an all-day Facebook Live. It's just crazy to even think about doing. Um, I do radio. I've said this plenty of times before. I've actually considered stop doing the Facebook Live during the radio show. Uh, a lot of people like it, and I do like you know, reading the chat boxes and everything, all the messages, and, and doing what we do here. Uh, so I've left it for now. Uh, but I've considered not doing it because I do radio, folks. I don't do video. I don't do television. Um, even with the Friday Night Tikes, um, I used to tell the cameraman all the time, uh, this face was made for radio. It was not made for television. It wasn't made for video. Uh, so we do nothing but radio. That's what Typho Radio is all about. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter. You follow me on Facebook. Um, that way you'll get the live link when we go live. Every three hours, we will have to reset the broadcast. Um, that's just normal with what we have to do here. <clears throat> um, but myself and Linda, Linda Lundy will give you uh, descriptions of everything that's going on. And I'm telling you, if you've last, if you've listened the last time, um, we did this. Uh, we had a lot of great fun, a lot of great information going on. Uh, you, I'll have the crowd mics up. I'll put some microphones up so you can pick up all the crowd noise. 
here are the cheers and everything else. I'll set up several different microphones uh, so we can get that. Um, you, you'll have an all-around experience. If you can't make it, now come down there. If you can make it to Corpus Christi, come in there and fill this place. Uh, remember, and this is the, I, you've heard me say it all season long. You've heard me say it in years past, and I'll keep saying it. I raised two cheerleaders. Uh, I even know the lingo. And some of you may not know what I'm talking about. Some will. Um, I had a base and I had a flyer. Um, one of my older daughters was a, was a base, and one, my youngest daughter was a flyer. And uh, it was the most scariest thing to see my daughter being tossed up in the air and her spinning herself around in all kinds of different crazy directions, bending her body in all kinds of different directions uh, in, in these pyramids and everything else. But I'm telling you right now, the work that my girls put in um, to compete, and they were they both uh, not just did uh, school cheer, but they worked, they, they competed uh, with club cheer. So I, I'm telling you, this this is an event unlike anything you'll ever see. These girls and boys put in work all year long in preparation, practicing, 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 constantly stretching, uh, working out soreness, working out injury to perform a routine for all of a minute to two minutes long, all year long. So while football players get all this practice time, to go out and compete in four quarters of a football game, depending on your age group, whether it's eight, 10, or 12 minutes long each quarter, you know, an hour and a half, two hour, almost a three hour game. Uh, these cheerleaders practice each and every day, sometimes in the evening, sometimes two a days, just like the football players, to put together a routine and compete for at the most two and a half minutes. And you're right, T.L. Whittington, they don't forfeit. I've seen cheer competitions. I've seen these girls in, in, in years past with Typha. Uh, they go out there. They'll do a tumbling pass or something like happened in a pyramid, and it falls apart. I've never, I have never seen a cheer team or a cheerleader in an individual competition run off the mat and quit. She may have fallen, she may have messed up, but she picks it right back up and keeps on going. And I'm telling you, as a spectator, to sit in that stadium and sit in that, that, that arena and see this happen, to see what you know they've worked on all year long and for something to go wrong, but yet all they do is they pick themselves back up and get right back on it and finish that routine. They may know they have lost it, but they continue and finish that routine. It is an absolute blast. Bring, if you need to, bring some ear some, some ear plugs or some earmuffs or something because it will be loud and it should be loud. We're talking about a cheerleading competition. It's supposed to be loud. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you can't make it, listen live here on Typhoon Radio. We're going to have complete coverage of the Typhoon State Cheer Competition. Each and every routine, each and every performer, each and every team will also cover, uh, uh, bring you the award ceremonies. Uh, if you think it's loud during the competition, wait till the award ceremonies. Wait till the awards. You get a bunch of cheerleaders and put them all on the mat. And start handing out trophies. Yeah, it's ear deafening. It's absolutely ear deafening. It is going to be a fantastic, fantastic weekend of cheer. Come on out. It's the American Bank Center, Corpus Christi, Saturday, November, uh, November 4th, uh, down in Corpus Christi, the Battle of the Beach. It's going to be a great day. Doors will open to the public starting at 7.20 a.m. 7.20 a.m., the doors will open. Now, let me tell you, just so you know, there will be no assigned seats. You cannot, there's not going to be any assigned seats. So it's basically first come, first serve. So make sure you're there at the doors. 
Doors open at 7.20. Tickets are $15. Um, three and under are free. Three and under are free, but tickets are $15. Uh, there are no pre-sale tickets, so you're gonna have to, you'll have to get your tickets at the door. There's going to be plenty of staff on hand. Uh, we were there last year. They did it this way last year, and I'm telling you, the lines went quick. Nobody had to wait for very long. The lines were moving. People were in, getting there, got their tickets, got in, were set, ready to go. There will be plenty of vendors there. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of things for you to check out throughout the day. Um, in the lobbies, uh, some concessions are going to be there, all kinds of great stuff. And, of course, the cheer. It is going to be a blast. The only thing I'm going to miss out doing is being the MC of the event as well. Uh, Brian Morgan, the uh, type of president, will be the MC. He will be there to take sure that make take sure everything flows smoothly. So when we look at the schedule for this cheer competition, uh, everything gets started at 8 a.m. Doors open at 7:20. Everything gets started at 8 a.m. Um, the first thing they do in the morning is going to be all of the individual performances. These are the individual cheerleaders who are competing for the individual trophies. Um, the, the mascot, flag, tykes, um, rookies, juniors, and the senior levels. Um, there's even a mascot duo that they'll, they'll be competing in. So all of the individuals will be going on in the morning. Uh, so come out and enjoy that. Uh, cheer these kids on, I'm telling you. one of the, it, It's a cheer competition, folks. It's a cheer competition. And crowd participation is is welcome. We want the crowd to participate. It needs to be loud in there. Let these girls know that you appreciate what they're doing out on that cheer floor. It's going to be a great time. Uh, we'll go all the way until about 11, 1145, and that is when uh, they'll get them all together on the floor for awards, on the individual awards. And then we'll take a lunch break between 12 and 1, and then starting at 1.15, it is going to be the team competition. This is where the organizations as a whole start competing in different in their different divisions and their different categories. I'm not, I'm not even going to go into the categories. I'm not even going to pretend to know. All I know is these teams get together. Cypress Mustang, West Texas Longhorns, Live Oak Jaguars, New Breffles Cougars, uh, uh, LaFerria Lions, Bell County Blaze, PSGA Wildcats. Just, run, just looking over down the list real quick. Um, all kinds of teams from all over the state are going to be coming in to compete. And that all leads up to the awards ceremony starting at 8 p.m. So it is going to be a wild, wild time. And again, I'm telling you, if you've never been there, um, do yourself a favor. Come on out. Enjoy yourself. Just sit back and enjoy. If you're, if you got football players, Bring those football players out. They need to support these cheerleaders. Um, I say this each and every time. <clears throat> those cheerleaders are on that football field supporting those football players all day long. Cheering for their team. Cheering them on to victory. Football players can reciprocate for one day. One day is all you need to do to show some love to your cheerleaders on what they do for you all season long. Give them that one day. Come on out, enjoy some great cheerleading, a great competition. I think a lot of you will walk away kind of scratching your head saying, wow, I did not realize how competitive this is. You will see some girls in big old bulky knee braces, all kinds of wraps, uh, walking around with sprains, strains, you name it, but they're out there competing each and every time. It'll be a great time, I promise you. So when we come back, we're going to step away real quick. When we come back, we're going to read off some of these shout-outs. And we open the phone lines right now, 979-353-4421. That's 979-353-4421. You want to shout-out your cheer squad? Uh, let them know that you're here rooting for them in the type of state cheer competition. Keep it here. We'll figure that out. In an effort to recognize scholastic excellence, TIFA created the Scholastic Awards Program. The Sean Anthony Richardson Academic Excellence Team was established after eight-year-old Sean, who played for the league in 2003 in the rookie division, 
tragically passed away on January 1st of 2004 in a vehicle accident. His parents were longtime friends of the Taifa founders.